Today is a gorgeous day, the sun's out, it's like up, it's 10 in the morning, I'm trying to find a quiet spot, I, my daughter's just took the girls out for their morning walk, I've got to, the back garden's been sorted so if you can hear lawnmowers or hose, water noises, <laughs> whatever, we're all in the same boat, you know, the family's all all at home it's trying to find a quiet spot just to voice over the videos now i did this video quite a while ago actually um when i had the cjp haul and i saw this um this color it's called clay from cjp and it is the most gorgeous deep gray purple i am in love so i put everything away I kept the clay out, got some other bits and bobs and I thought I need to play with this. I am in love with it. And also one of my favourite dark grey black sort of um, glitters is Sonia Williams' Janie's Gun. And I thought these would go perfect together. So this is what I'm doing. So you can see me coming on the little finger. Now what I did first was put down a very, very thin layer of clear. And then to that... I then pick up a teeny, teeny, tiny bead of clear acrylic, dip it in the raw glitter, Janie's gone, and I will then flip that onto the tip on this practice hand and apply it fully to the nail. So this applies much better than trying to put um, raw glitter onto the plastic tip. It's a bit of a nightmare. Then on top of that, I'm coming in with... I think it's Angel Wings. I'm sure it is. Angel Wings from CJP. I'm trying to remember. Trying to remember what I use now. I know I always take a clip at the beginning. I always do. So that you guys know what I've used. But I also list it below. So if there's anything I miss or I don't know guys. Please check below because it will be there. Now here's the little baby in question. It is clay now it does marble so with marble colors and let me tell you there isn't a lot from cjp that actually do marble um you just need to use it a little bit wetter stroke it out and you can see as i'm using it it just it goes it's not a problem i don't have to keep working it or anything like that slightly wet wetter stroke it out that's my advice if you get any that marble so what i'm doing is doing a full coverage on this nail and as, as always i'm trying to keep the shape now i am going to continue with this color and just keep adding that and then i will clear cap that later now as i've mentioned i have just found this video i've been having problems with my phone so my other half plugged it into the computer went up in the cloud and all the rest of it and did whatever he did um and he's like there's a video here and I'm like delete it delete everything and he's like try there's like a whole video so I had a look I'm like oh my god so I said can we get it back down can we get it from the cloud back onto my phone I totally totally forgot because I record on an old iPhone but I can't actually keep it for storage so when I do a video and it only holds like a couple I'll do a video upload it schedule it in and then I have to delete it all but obviously this had backed up to the cloud and I, my phone was I was getting all these error messages saying you know cloud's full can't back it up and it was causing me mega issues I couldn't save my videos so anyway that's what started it all off back to the nails though for the minute we've got a point finger and here I'm going to do a glitter fade so I go in with that beautiful clay pop it nice and neat around that cuticle area and then bring that up the nail before coming in with Jeannie's gun, Janie's gun from Sonia Williams. And I'm going to pop that on the tip and then feather that into the bottom half of that clay to create a beautiful glitter fade on this nail. So 
So once I'm happy with that, I'm then going to go on to the ring finger. And I come in with clay. And I think it's snow white. Double check that. Um, I'll list it below. I'll see what the uh, what the clip is at the beginning. Because honestly, I just can't remember. This isn't like me at all. I'm so organised. So mega apologies, guys. So I'm going to come in with those two. Make it nice and neat. And then I do a marble. And for that marble, I'm going to use clay. Snow white. And then metallic silver the metallic silver brings such a beautiful effect to this marble i absolutely love it and with that clay oh it's just it's amazing i love this marble so i'll repeat that and i will do that all the way to the tip and then with this marble or any marble to be honest if there's a patch of color or one color that i'm using becomes more dominant I will go in with teeny tiny beads to break up that that block of colour or that dominant colour, whatever it might be. And I think I do that on here. I think the metallic silver takes over at the tip and then I've got that bit of block at the bottom of that um, clay shade at the bottom left. So I don't know if I come in with white or metallic silver. Oh, I can't remember. They yeah, had bits of white look just breaking it up so i continue to do that before coming in with that angel wings and i will thread that through the marble in the direction that the marble waves will go that way when it hits the light it catches it shimmer bit of gorge that's right then what i'm going to do guys is clear cap all of these nails file and buff them into shape before coming in with some beautiful gems now i've tried to keep them all in shot for you so to pop these on the middle finger i'm going to use ugly duckling stick it as always i will go in with a swab i'll pop it and even it out where i'm going to put those gems then i'm going to come in with a really old gel brush i've decided actually i think i need to put this in the bin i had a brainwave and thought i'd get the scissors on it but think I made it worse so anyway it's got a little bit of gel cleanse on and what I'm going to do is run the edges of that jewelry gel I'll just even it out so it's nice and smooth before coming in with tap free top gloss from CJP this means that I can put the gems all over this nail and move them about and it doesn't matter because it's uncured then when I'm happy with the gems, I will put it into the lamp for a full cure. And then I haven't got to worry about the jewellery gel being sticky or go around the gems with the top coat. It's already done. So I absolutely love that little tip. So jewellery gel, top coat, add the gems, cure, voila. Brilliant. So I am going to arrange these beautiful gems. You can see I've got some round, deep, purple they go brilliantly with this clay shade. And then I have some eye droplets. And I put three of those on. Now, because the jewelry gel is uncured, I don't like the first way I put it. So I actually whiz them around and do it another way before putting another few gems at the top of this nail. So I push the gems into that jewelry gel. That will then slide up the side of them gems, securing it for the wearability of these nails. Then I'm going to come in with some gorgeous grey caviar beads that I have. Now I start to add them with a brush and it's just not working out for me. So I come in with the dotting tool and I add them individually. Now I have cut some of this out because quite frankly it's um, so painful to watch. But I do come in and finish that off with these beautiful caviar beads. I absolutely love this nail when it's finished. And those beautiful eye droplet gems that I've got, I've got like um, bits of like a mylar. It's got like a, a purple and a deep blue. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. But we will see that at the end. So I will move on to the ring finger and I put three gems along the cuticle area. And then I do one on the pointer finger before coming in with the top coat to finish off these nails. So there we have it. That's lovely gems on. And now we need to top coat with 
tap free top gloss from cjp then guys that's the end of the video i really do hope you've enjoyed this little nail play today if you have please take a moment and hit that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already i would absolutely love it if you would i'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching and until next time bye